Welcome to the Lawrence Garden Farm. Thank you so much for watching today's show. Last year when I was creating our potting bench back here, I had a really good idea. I was like, I really want a grow light that can be installed on the wall. So I contacted gardeners because we were already using one of their light setups and we love it. And I asked them, I'm like, do you guys have anything that can hang on the wall? And I wanted one of their new ones in the natural wood color, not one of the black ones. So that way it looked more, you know, natural in the house. And they said that they do not have anything like that. So then I got a little message from them a few months later saying, hey, you know what? We listened to some of your thoughts and ideas and we created a new wall hanging grow light system. And they sent one out to us and we thought that we would do the unboxing for you right here, right now. So let's take a look. So we'll take this out. Sayla's gonna love this bubble wrap. So I'll save that for her. <laughs> it's nice and heavy. And look at that beautiful natural wood color. It would look beautiful in any home. It's not like any of the other grow lights that you see. It, it, it's really made for home decor. So you could really just grow some fresh herbs in here and hang it in your kitchen. And it could still be a beautiful art piece. I like that the bottom isn't just a piece of plastic. It's actually kind of trendy right now with the farmhouse decor to have a little bit of that metal look amongst a lot of other textures throughout your home. So I, I like that as well. It richens it up a little bit. Oh, that's nice. It just sits right in there. Perfect. So they wrote me a little message as well. They wrote, hi Casey, I partially assembled it for you, but let me know if you have any questions. We hope you like it, enjoy, Deborah. Thank you so much, Deborah from Gardener Supply. They also included the wall hardware. So this is gonna be a project I'm gonna have Jason work on, and then we'll show you guys what it looks like once, once he's done. He has no idea that this is on his honey to-do list today. So I decided that I'm gonna put it right here, right next to little Chili. Hi, Chili. We measured this up. It's 22 and a half inches across. So it fits in that spot perfectly. While I'm waiting for Jason to get home and to break it to him that he's got another to-do thing, um, I'm going to head on outside and get a couple things planted up. Have to get my coat on. It is freezing outside today. Don't forget to subscribe to the Lawrence Garden Farm. Well, we're out in the greenhouse now and I put all the flowers out in front. I love it. Today I'm going to be potting up some of my snapdragons. Picked up some more seedling trays for seed starting. Got a lot of seeds to start and I've got some four packs here. So I'm going to start the snapdragons in these four packs. I like to bump them up just a little bit larger and then once they're rooted I'll plant them into these six inch pots so that way they can just be used for decorative in the house for Easter. And then these snapdragons can always go into our spring garden, but it's still really early, so we'll see how they're doing by then. I always like to start off with another fresh batch of snapdragons for our spring garden, like the first to second week in March. And just like everything, we love using the Jelly Gardener uh, growing mix for our four packs and growing pretty much everything in. As you can tell, if you've been watching the videos, you know it's our favorite. So I just go ahead and have fun filling it. It's always fun to get your hands in the dirt and just feel that soil because in winter here, you don't really get to do that much unless you have a greenhouse or you're gardening inside the house, which adding the potting bench is such a great idea. If you're a big garden lover and it's hard for you to get over the winter, you know, just add a potting bench and start just playing around and. Have fun growing inside of the house. I just heard something. Yeah. Anybody home in the greenhouse? Oh, there they are. We're gymnastics. And the grocery store. How'd you do, Sayla? Gymnastics. Ooh, she did really, really good. She intently wow. listened to the teacher and watched the teacher to see what she was doing. Wow, Sayla, I'm and so she, proud yeah. of you. 
good. Oh, my little sweetie good bag. Same good now. job. <laughs> um, did you see that the house was tore up inside? I did, yeah. So what's the thing on the, the counter then? It's the new grow light by Gardeners. Okay. And they sent it to us because it's the wall hanger. Remember I suggested that yeah. it hang on the wall? Yep. Cool. So where, uh, where should we mount that? Uh... By those birch logs. Got it. Yep. Yeah, so that's that your to-do cool. list today. Okay. I'll get it done. Yep. <laughs> okay. Wow. What do you think of the uh, raised bed? It is really looking good. Everything looks so green and lush. I know. Wow. Look at this, Sayla. Beans. So silly question, but are all of the uh, the flowers going to turn into beans? Yes. All right. All awesome. of them start off with a beautiful cool. flower, just like with the uh, the potatoes yeah. here. Daddy. Yeah, these are really cool. Daddy, looking. Daddy. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh yeah, it's like a little mini bean pot. And say, look at these. Purple and yellow. Those are, these are the potatoes. Are Daddy, do you want a stamp? Sure. <laughs> Thanks, man. Good girl. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta pull it. Yeah, everything looks really good though. It does, doesn't so it? So any, um, have you seen any more evidence of bug, bug issues? Not really. No? Everything's getting cleared up. Mama, you good. want to show you something really cool. Aren't those gorgeous? They're amazing. Over here too, I potted up some of our tomatoes. Oh, These okay. are the uh, sun sugar tomatoes. Oh, yeah. Yep. And we've got our one little broccoli, which actually doubled. Wow. Since yeah, it looks, got planted there. It's looking good. Yeah. And then I want to do some of the peppers today, which they actually need some water. You can tell they're kind of dry and wilty. Sometimes with your seedlings, you want to break up the, the bottom by squeezing it a little bit so you don't just yank them and then you rip it out and lose the actual rip ball. But some varieties you really don't need to. It just depends on how well rooted they are. And these here are really well rooted, so they really don't need any squeezing. They all pull out super easy, as you can see. Yep. I've had a lot of people ask if I'm going to separate these, and the answer is no. These are flowers. They do really well in little bundles like this. I actually like to have my snapdragons grow a little bit more like this. It makes them more bushy. You end up with more flowers. Um, so it's really nice. I just make a hole, put it in. Daddy, my food is stuck there in we the go. Camp. There we go. What is going on over here? This is like something you see on the cartoons. They get their foot stuck in a, in a watering can. <gasps> ah! Oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, all right, here you go. Let's learn from that mistake and not do it again, okay? <laughs> you want your stamp that I gave you? I love the stamp that you gave me. I'm looking at this first can of here, and I see that there's another blossom that is ready to happen here. Check that out. Just so you guys know, on our flowering varieties, we are doing the bloom booster fertilizer through the water, and I'm doing that every third or fourth time that I water them now. Well, hon, you're gonna have to get up another table in here because I'm running out of space. No problem, we got one ready to go right there. come back in to find Sayla's using the gardener's supply box as a little table.
right, there it is. There she is, there it is, it looks good. Well, I came home to find that Jason finished the shelf, and now it's time for me to put our own little custom touch on it. <laughs> Lana has gymnastics tonight. Our little gymnastic girls, Wednesdays are our gymnastic days, right? Well, I've got it all styled, really pretty over here. I overstuffed the uh, grow light here, but I'm gonna take a really pretty picture of it for a gardener's supply in appreciation for them sending this beautiful wall hanging grow light system. And we love it so much, so this is the way that we can show our gratitude. 